here. I don't see that as a blow off top. So we haven't even reached the euphoria stage. So another two free X for Bitcoin. This bull run is, in my opinion, possible um, from the highs. So that would place at around 160K to a peak of maybe 200K per BTC. This video is going to be super exciting because I'll be looking at some graphs and why I believe the current crash is an important part of this cycle and why I believe it's also going to continue in a similar fashion to the 2017 bull run. So this is going to be extremely exciting and I feel like everyone that managed to huddle through this crash is set up for fantastic gains in the next few months. During the 2017 bull run, there are Bitcoin experience numerous 30, 35, 40% crashes on the way up to the euphoria stage. Now, of course, now I'm using Bitcoin as a representation of the market because many of the other cryptocurrencies are correlated with Bitcoin, even though I feel like a lot now are slowly starting to decouple from Bitcoin. I feel like it's a very good metric. So in front of us, we've got the different bull runs from way back in the early days, 2009 to 2010. And as you can see, all of them had like euphoria stages at the end of the cryptocurrency bull run where the price skyrocketed like a few hundred percent in the last few days of that cycle. The second bull run was between 2012 and 2013, lasted 373 days. The 2016 to 2018, which is also known as the 2017 bull run, was 525 days. Now you might see here one pattern and that is that the cycles are always getting longer. So the gains per bull run is diminishing, of course, because the cryptocurrency market is um, going way higher in terms of um, valuation so that means the gains are decreasing however the cycles are becoming longer and longer what that means is that the current bull run is probably going to be somewhere around i don't know 650 days and at the moment we're only at 375 days so we probably got another 300 days of bull run left yeah and that's pretty cool so if you look at the gains from this green line, which is the current bull run of 2020-21. Um, you can see here, I don't see that as a blow off top. So we haven't even reached the euphoria stage. So another two free X for Bitcoin, this bull run is in my opinion possible um, from the highs. So that would place at around 160K to a peak of maybe 200K per BTC during this bull run. And that will happen within the next 300 days. However, you have to realize that during this time span, a lot of things can happen. The price of Bitcoin could drop down to 20K. That's a possibility. And you have to see that as an opportunity to maybe buy the dip. Um, dollar cost averaging in, dollar cost averaging out is the best best thing for you to do because trying to time the bottoms is very difficult to do. Trying to time the tops is also very difficult to do. So now I'd like to show you a few charts, but credit is where credit is due. And this chart I'm going to show you is from this Reddit user, fan of Hackix and Sexy Days. And I'd like to give him credit for these charts. I think it's pretty fantastic. So here we've got the July 2017 bull run with a 35% crash. Now, the crashes, I count them based on the candle close and not the wick. So if we take the wick, it's probably a 45% correction, but with, with, with just a candle close, it's a 35% um, correction. So in July, 2017, we had, we experienced a 35% crash that brought Bitcoin down to the $1,925 range. So people were talking about Bitcoin being dead, Bitcoin going to zero, uh, it's a bull trap, blah, 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 and stuff like that. However, July 2017 is pretty pretty early in the 2017 bull run. Of course, it's like the the last part of the 2017 bull run. Bitcoin would do another 10x from these lows. Pretty pretty awesome. 
Now, if we look at the current bull run, May 2021, we've got a 40% crash. Now, the price did drop down to around 29,000. However, like I just said, that is the wick. And I consider the candle close to be where I'm actually calculating this crash. So we've got a 40% crash. And this is pretty interesting. Now, if we superimpose both of these charts from 2017 and 2020 or 2021, um this is really interesting this looks very very similar to each other and we know how the story goes for the 2017 bull run it brings us up to 19,000 us dollars in a matter of four or five months later now with the lengthening of the cycles i believe this top is probably going to be sometime like maybe may next year because the cycles are going lower, uh, long, longer, and the peak is probably going to be sometime next year. And we're probably going to have one peak this year, another correction, and then it will continue up because the market always moves in cycles. You've got smaller cycles, you've got longer cycles. Now, the last thing I'd like to share with you, and that's pretty cool, and that is uh, these bands. I think the easiest way to look at the current market is by going onto the website, looking to the Bitcoin.com and using the golden ratio multiplier. We at the moment are at the current band. If we go and take this segment, as I just mentioned, we didn't have any blow off peaks and we didn't even touch anywhere close to this upper band, which would signify that we reached a peak of the bull run. So that now we're close to this blue band and we dropped all the way down to this band, which would actually indicate a pretty good accumulation range. And yeah, see us targeting these upper bands, which would bring us to 80K probably in the next two to three months. And then afterwards, at the end of the year to next year, we'll be targeting the range between 82,000 and 136,000. However, the longer we trade sideways, the higher this upper band will go and probably bring us up to 160K. Now, this is just looking at Bitcoin. To be fair with you guys, my largest holdings are not Bitcoin. I like the idea of Bitcoin. However, me personally, I'm holding way more ETH and way more Cardano. And they have also fared pretty well during this crash. Now, of course, ETH has dropped by a significant amount. However, it did have a massive rally before that. And I'm also following the theory that ETH and other smart contract blockchains are going to decouple from Bitcoin. And the reason for that is Bitcoin fulfills one use case. And that is being a store of value. And I think it's a fantastic use case. There is no better use case in store of value as such. However, smart contract blockchains, you've got Ethereum, Solana, um, Cardano with the smart contracts coming out in August, Ethereum with a thriving DeFi space. They're actually a multi-use case blockchain, meaning that they can give a lot more to the economy. They're basically the massive economy and Bitcoin is the gold in the banks of that economy. And that's why I believe, me personally, that over the next five years, we're going to see a lot of smart contract blockchains actually outperforming Bitcoin in terms of returns. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.